Hey guys, happy Thanksgiving. Today is Thursday, November the 26th, I believe. Yeah, November the 26th. <laughs> That's terrible, right? Um, I decided to stay home um, this Thanksgiving um, in my area, which is the DMV. COVID is really spiking. So I decided it was best for me to stay home for me, for the safety of me and my family. Um, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy, and well. I hope the same for your families as well. Um, but just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving before we jumped into this video. So hope you guys have a great day and that it's successful, whatever that looks like for you. Um, and let's hop into the video. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. It's Toya, AKA Miss Toy 734 um, Today I'm making a video about VSG and hormones. Um, so I watched a ton of VSG videos before my procedure and I still watch them to this day. <laughs> um, so I've heard a lot of different people's experiences around um, having changes in hormones, um, changes in cycles and things of that nature. So I wanted to um, share my experience. So my experience um, has been a little different. So I'll start with my cycles. Um, a lot of people say that they had really rough cycles after um, having VSG surgery. Um, and that has not been my experience so far. Um, so pre-operation, um, my cycles um, initially, like when I was younger, were really rough. Um, so I would miss days of school, days of work, things of that nature because I had really bad cycles and it would be really painful. Um, as I got older, I tried to moderate that with birth control, didn't really work for me. Um, I was ultimately able to um, kind of stabilize my cycle and minimize discomfort through exercise and being active. Um, so even though, you know, I've been active for a large part of my life um, and wasn't necessarily losing weight, it was also, it was helping me maintain um, kind of some stability with my cycle. So that's just a little background. So post-op, um, a lot of people shared that their cycles became horrible, like terrible, unbearable kind of thing. Um, that was not my experience. So my first cycle post-op was, um, I believe, like four to five days after surgery. Um, and it came um, a little less than a week early. Um, so at this time, if you've been following my journey, you know that I was on blood thinners um, for 30 days post-op. So that first cycle was not painful. It was like really easy. Um it was very light. Um, I had like no, nothing to complain about with that cycle. Um, it was pretty short. Well, not short, but it was regular, like four days or so. Um, but I think because I was on the blood thinners, like I didn't have any cramping or anything um, because the blood thinners were just kind of thinning everything out. So it was a really smooth cycle. Um, now to my second cycle, which just ended recently, um, I was on maybe like the last two days of my blood thinners when my cycle was to start. And so I wasn't really sure like if I was going to kind of look out and get another easy cycle or like if it would start like kind of, um, and then continue after I finished the, the blood thinners. Um, so what ended up happening, my cycle was scheduled to start on a Monday. Um, and that Monday, I was feeling all of like the emotions, okay? Like I was just feeling so overwhelmed with emotion. Like I was here one minute, there another minute. Like I was all over the place, y'all. Um, and thankfully I worked from home, but we had a lot of meetings that day and I was literally praying like, oh my God, please God help me through this day. Um, I was literally feeling like manic at one point. Um, and so between meetings, I would get up, um, walk, 
drink water, like just try to do something to kind of get the jitters out. Um, and I'll come back to that later. Um, so by the end of that Monday, I was feeling a little bit better and a little um, more stable emotionally. And I was just so grateful that I had gotten through the day. Um, the rest of the week was fine for the most part. Um, I was a little like irritable, but it wasn't anything like um, out of the ordinary, I guess. Uh, and I'll talk about irritability and restlessness at the in, in, a, in a little bit. So anyway, this cycle started maybe like four or so days late. It lasted about four days. It was heavier than my first cycle. I had um, some cramping, but not cramping like pre-operation cramping or symptoms. Um, but it was, you know, different than the first post-op cycle. So it was somewhere in between. Um, I had to take um, pain medication just once for my cycle. And I take the Equate brand of Midol, um that I get from Walmart. Um, and it's like not even $3. It's like $2.88 for a whole bottle. And I love them. Like I've been using them for years. They're amazing. So I took one of those um, maybe like the first day of my cycle and that was it. I was able to deal with the rest of like the discomfort for the um, four days. So um, all of that to say that um, my cycle has definitely lightened um, since surgery. Um, and unlike a lot of other people who said their cycles have gotten worse, mine did not get worse. The first one was way better than any cycle I've ever had. <laughs> and the second one was still pretty good in comparison to some of the cycles that I've had. So at moving forward from that, um, just emotions. So I do feel that I am a little more restless sometimes. Um, and that may have nothing to do with surgery. That may have to do with the fact that we're locked in our houses, right? Because it's a whole pandemic. I don't know. But um, anytime I do feel restless or I feel like I'm getting like antsy or anxious, I just, I, I really use that time um, to go for a walk. So I usually walk most mornings. Um, I typically walk about two miles every morning. Um, and I do that just to get my day off to a good start. Um, if I'm feeling particularly antsy, anxious or whatever about something, um, usually I'll just take a break from work. I'm very blessed that I have that opportunity. I will, you know, leave out for about 15, 30 minutes and I'll just go walking um, and kind of get the jitters off. Um, so really not sure if that's related to surgery or if it's just related to the state of the world right now. Either way, um, being physically active has helped me. Um, I Sometimes I'll do like, you know, uh, those hand toe touches where you kind of kick your legs up and reach your arms out to touch your alternating leg or foot. Um, like I'll do those. I'll just, you know, turn on some music or something and try to like dance away the jitters. Um, whatever I can do to just kind of expel some energy. Um, and so that was the um, restlessness part. The irritability. Um, I noticed guys that it's not bad, but my patience level has decreased a bit. <laughs> Again, I don't know if that has to do with the surgery or the state of the world or the fact that I just turned 37 and sis is not with it. Like, I don't know what it is, but um, my tolerance level is not where it used to be. <laughs> Um, like anytime, you know, if a conversation is not going where I needed to go, or I feel like, you know, I, I don't know if I feel like I wasted my time or whatever, I'm like very quick to be like, okay, let's talk about this later, or let's do this later, or let's not do this at all. Mm, okay, it's okay to say no sometimes. Um, and so, um, I think, you know, I don't. It's not terrible, um, but I just noticed that in myself, like when interacting with family and friends and things like that, like my tolerance is like, yeah, I feel like you're about to waste my time and I'm not with it. So 
I will politely exit stage left. So anyway, um, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. Um, again, I hope you guys are safe. I hope you're healthy. I'm so happy, so happy that I had my surgery in October when I did. Um, I know some folks whose surgeries are getting canceled now because of the spikes in COVID. So guys, if you haven't had your surgery yet, just keep the faith, hang in there, um, stay positive, but more importantly, please stay safe. If you have had the surgery, please, please stay safe. Um, if you saw my um, day in the life video, I talked about some additional um, uh, vitamins that I'm taking, echinacea, elderberry, um, and I take also vitamin C. Um, and I think it's echinacea and golden seal that I actually take. But, you know, just think of some things that you can do to make sure your immune system is boosted um, to be healthy and safe. So that's it, guys. I love you. Please, please, please tune in this weekend because I will have my six-week post-op update. Um, got a lot of great um, feedback and information from the surgeon that I met with this week. Um, and I will be starting some new things. So don't forget to um, tune in for the next video. And also don't forget to um, follow me on Instagram at MissToy734. If you do follow me on Instagram, you know I met a really big milestone this week. Um, so I'm not going to spill the beans here. I'll share that in the next video. But love you guys. Talk soon.